no more night. I was just meditating on something from the last chapter of the book of Revelation when John sees the redeemed, those who rediscover themselves in the new creation of God. This is the end of all things. Every single soul upon the earth must find himself living this reality in Revelation chapter 22. John says from verse 3, And there shall be no more cause but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. They shall see his face, and his name shall be written on their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Praise God. These are spiritual truths to be comprehended by a spiritual people. Because God is bringing to light that thing that has been hidden. We know that in this age, in this present age, men walk in the night. In the night is synonymous with ignorance of the truth. But today the Spirit of God is speaking plainly of the Father. The Spirit of God is revealing to mankind the things of the Father. So that as the Spirit reveals the things of the Father, the shadows fade away. The parables fade away. The allegories fade away. And we begin to see the truth, that which has been hidden from the comprehension of man, which is none other than the Father God. He is all in all. When the consciousness of a man is lifted up, from vanity, lifted up from ignorance, he becomes consciously aware that the Lord God, the Father of all, covers all in all as the waters cover the sea. There is none else besides the Father. When the consciousness is awoken, you discover that you have the identity of the Father and everything around you is the Father manifesting himself in the physical. This is the highest level of consciousness that man attains to on the pinnacle of creation which is Mount Zion. The eyes are open to see the Father who is true all and appearing as all. Then there is no, no more darkness. Darkness is over. Ignorance is over. Because we live and have our being in Him. That is the only life that there is. Then the nations make no more war against each other. Because they are united in one. They are gathered into one. The nations become the nations of the Lord. And no more will they make war then love will blossom. Because any man that does not love his brother is still in the night season. He does not see where he's going. The ignorance, the darkness of this world still overshadows his mind. But thank God for the light of life. Thank God for the spirit. 
that is lifting us from the muddy clay to contemplate the glory and the majesty of God, the one that covers all in all. This is a reality now. Let the Spirit lead you into the day where there is no more night. God bless you.